Yeah, we were. That that's the that's the Hogan gimmick. Though those yeah, body we, rates. Let me that, bring this up for a second. That was I, I was um, but boy, you know what? As as much as this looks on paper and everything else, I see other other things that are, are internal. That man, they have my pay is way off. Scott's is way off. I'm thinking to myself like, who? I mean, the checks the checks added up. Yeah. You know. Well, but right here on uh, on the uh, what we have here is the uh, the this is the 1998 contract. So this is actually the re up on Hogan's first deal, right? Which would have been 96. That deal, according to Eric Bischoff, by the way, this is from his mouth on his 83 weeks podcast here on our network. He said it was uh, that first deal, the 96 deal. Um, four pay-per-views a year, half a million each. Um, and in, in addition to the compensation for the pay-per-view, um, I think he said there was three or four weeks of television leading into the pay-per-view. Cla- a, a clash of champions or two in the schedule, um, all under what is essentially a $2 million contract. He said that was basically the deal. Okay, so four pay-per-views, some TV leading up, a couple of clashes of champions, $2 million. Look at this action on the renegotiation here for Hogan. This is this is what year is this one? This now this is ninety eight. So he comes in in ninety six. This, this is after the after the NWO run. This is what precisely this is, now. This look is how, at what this is what you come in to bargain with. Look at what wearing a t shirt gets you. Okay, for two million dollar contract in ninety six. You put on the black and white t shirt. You stand in the ring with Scott and Kevin. So. He gets a $2 million signing bonus, first of all, just for signing. Okay. Right. So, not uncommon among popular athletes. So, this now calls for six pay per view events a year. Okay. At, at guaranteed, what, 675? Is that what it was? It is 15% or. 675, whichever is greater. So, the guarantee is 675. Upwards from there. Um, Based on uh, based on that fifteen percent, yeah, we had some good. We, we did some numbers. I bet you he he did well. He had a great, go he, down a little, yeah. He had a great great contract. If you go down a little further, here's the bonuses now on those pay per views. If you if he got a if it got a buy rate of one point five to one point seven nine, you can see that top line right there. Reading from my audio listeners. 250,000 per event that landed uh, between 1.5 and 1.79. If it was 1.8 to 1.99, that goes up to 375,000 per event. A 2 to 2.49, $500,000 per event. A 2.5 to 2.99, $850,000 per event. A 3 to 3.49, 1.25, and anything over a 3.5 rating was 1.75 million. So that's on top of all the previous. Now we didn't even get to merch yet. So I just want, I just want to let this this go. I don't recall ever seeing a merchandise check in WCW. For 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 NWO? Not a dime. So let me ask you this. The minute they the minute they went out of business, I'd sue them. Well, I was gonna say it, since they were bought, doesn't your deal grandfather over to WWE? No, so like, because they didn't. That's not what they bought. They bought the library. Oh, so they my, so none of the contractual my, agreements my, were my, valid. Yeah, my my checks came from Universal Holdings. So, okay, so it was the wrestling company that didn't have any. I mean, it was just the, your guaranteed money pay, sit and pay off. So they still sell NWO T-shirts, of course. So that was a separate negotiation for you to get the royalties on NWO stuff currently. Well, we, I mean, we got the big one when we came back from Turner. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, we get, I mean, that was, so we, we split, it was a 50, 50 split with the company and the three of us each got 16, seven. 16, seven on all NWO merch, each of you. And then WWE kept 50%. That's a great deal. Yeah, and, and I mean, it's a, it just, it's sold, man. 
has that number held up to today? Because I know they still make dolls and stuff. That sixteen seven, I mean, that's still yeah. I, I still get I, I still get that quarterly. It's it's nice. It's a, it's a, it's a retirement. Yeah, yeah. But it's a, it's it's definitely it's it, it's enough money for me to retire in. Now is that in perpetuity, is, or do you have to renegotiate I, if that I number every two years? If I continue to live like Jimmy Buffett's fucking poorer brother, stepping on your pop top, walking around yeah. in your flip flops down there. Tell you what, man, you get you, you get down Florida long enough around this fucking water. Oh, absolutely! I I was... got trapped down there during COVID. I don't think I put anything but a fucking flip flop on my feet for seven months. T and I were T and I were were walking in today, and we were just saying how like this is like our favorite time of the year. Like there's nobody down here. <laughs> Everyone leaves. <laughs> yeah, it's just like man, it's just the locals. You go, it's just uh, it's just life is good again. Life is good again. I said flip flops. I used to be called slides today. I'm showing my fucking age on that. I, I call them, I, I just I call them sandals. Sandals. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, the slides are those ones that if you're not if, if you're not like a black defensive back, you can't wear them with they're socks. Fucking, right? With with their, the fucking white with the fucking like the Nike swoop that goes across or something yeah. like that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, white dude trying to to fucking throw that at you with some gnarly toes. Fuck that. That's me, baby. That's, that's, that's me, like, baby. Get, that'll kill your shit off. Um, now Hogan, let's get back to this Hogan money. Unbelievable. Right. The WCW Nitro and Thunder contract. So now, so what we just announced covers the pay per views. Now here's the weeklies. He gets um twenty five percent. Of the gross, we, and, and and I I read that that uh, thing there, and we did on seven straight Monday nights. We did domes, right? We did like the Georgia thousand fucking. Yeah, people. we did the Georgia dome. We did New Orleans. We did the Astro Dome. We did the RCA Dome. We did. I mean, it was like we did we did uh, Alamo Dome. God, what else? There was there was two more. But we did like every, you know, and, and and to see what he was getting. Can you imagine getting that? At the, the the kicker of all of it is, he was fucking still getting a hundred and seventy five, hundred seventy five dollars a day per diem. Really? Yeah. A hundred seventy five, hundred seventy five dollars per diem. See, if I was Eric, I would have fought him on that. I'm like, bro, give me a fucking break. Like, I'm so glad when I, I read that. When I, when I read that, I said, well, at least it didn't cost him anything to fucking cater that beer all day for us. Yeah. Mama Lucian. To so, this day, to this day, Hogan, it's just you just uh, you drink Miller out of a can. Miller light out of a can. That's your that's like it for beer. I'll drink a Corona. But if I, if I ever drink a beer, it's a Miller light out of a can. You had that bud lime at the concert that you had to conceal. I have to remind you about my, that. Yeah, my, my, that was my son. My son made that call. Now, you also had house shows, I guess. Not many for WCW, right? You guys were mostly. He did. He, he did. I, I, I really think like in the time that we were there, I know he did one in Boston. That may be the only one I think he did. We sold the, we sold the garden out that Hulk was on the apron, six, six mat. I don't even remember the fuck we wrestled either. That was maybe, uh, I, maybe it is CTE. He got he got twenty five percent of the house shows too. So here's the merch. Go down to item number nine. Here's the merchandising and licensing. So they they list, of course, the the things that his image might show up on. And now who knows, Kev? You see, you said you never saw any money from this. I don't know if he did either. No, I, I'm sure he did. I'm sure that he saw it. Yeah, this is no. This is why I I, I sued them. Knowing that I I could get a decent settlement without much of a fight because they didn't I mean their records were fucking they were shredding records and shit man like they, they it wasn't gonna look good for a Fortune 500 to be running the way they were right so the deal is fifty percent of uh, any merch 
sold directly by WCW to consumers using Hogan, Hollywood Hogan, Balea's name or likeness. Now, um, 50%, uh, so they're just saying if it was a third party, he'd also get 50%. Now, this one's fascinating. Letter E. During the period in which Balea is a member of the New World Order, Terry Balea, that's his real name for anyone who doesn't know, shoot name, brother. As long as he's a member of the New World Order, Bollea will receive a promotional fee for promoting them wearing name while wrestling in T-shirts of $20,000 a month. He was given 20 Gs just to, to, wear, to wear the NWO shirt when he was sent out to the ring. Yeah. I mean, that's right behind the 175. 175 per diem is first, then... It's twenty thousand dollars for fucking to wear the colors. Oh my god! So and then the there was a nine hundred number to uh, exhibit F. The nine hundred line featuring Hulk Hogan, Hollywood Hogan. Should Balea be available to provide recordings for the said line, he will receive one hundred percent of revenue. Why put him on if you're WCW? Couldn't you give him 95 at least and retain a 5%? I wouldn't do that bad business. Oh, my nudge. So this is incredible. So this is Hogan money, man. This is like, I don't know if there's been another contract even like this. What was the difference, uh, Kevin, when you went from WWE to WCW? It was a three-year deal, right? Right. It's my, when I first went to WCW? Well, a, after WWE, not the Oz stuff. I'm talking about. For the second time. it was th Yeah, it was three years. And then we bumped it. We, did, we ended up, it was like five or six. Okay, so that's my question. The disparity between Hogan's 96 contract and Hogan's uh. 98 contract is, is madness. What about your three-year versus your bump for two years? Did it get? Well, no, it was just. No, because you couldn't with with that much with that, with that much overhead with Hulk, man. How much can you really? We were all probably underpaid. I mean, not by today by today's standards. You know, a million dollars in eighty or ninety seven is a million nine now. Yeah, you know. So if you're making three, you're making five. So you know, that's what about when you guys go back I think, we, I, 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 don't, I think like the most like, there was maybe I know Taker and I want to think Dwayne at that point and of course Steve they um they had a million as their downside a, uh, one million as the downside guarantee, yeah. and then bonuses and all that other shit. Yeah, above. Steve was Steve so sold, sold so much fucking merch. Yeah, and like with all the, the money that Steve made, if we would have had the same accounting department and the same structure, that that's what me, Terry, and Scott would have made during the same time span. Right. We just fucking we just let bootlegs fucking take a, a billion dollars from us.